Hello. So in the interim between episodes, I once again went up to the Hellkite Dragon Bridge to grind humanities. After 39,000 souls, I gave up because I got in zero humanities. Because, as it turns out, there is a limited number of humanities you can farm that way in a specific area. Ten, I think, is the max. And each time you get a humanity from killing an enemy, the amount of enemies you need to kill to get another humanity increases. So, the Undead Parish is essentially tapped out for me. So for now, we're just going to buy all of Angie's stuff. Or things. I want to get to Pyromancy Flame plus 10 so that I can get to Quinlana and get her advanced pyromancies. I'm not gonna use it. But I want to collect all the things. And I still need 17 humanities to get to the required number to open that door to do more grinding to obtain sunlight medals from the chaos bugs on the other side. I have no desire to fight anything down here. Less time spent in Blight Town, the better. I mentioned recently how much Blight Town sucks. We're not coming back here again. Quailon will have to wait to get her humanities until we can warp with the Lord Vessel. Because I'll be damned if I'm going to Blight Town again. Oh, remember what I said about Lautrec killing the Firekeeper once I collect those two Firekeeper souls? Well, he's done it. These are her clothes, and that's the item that you'll use to get into his domain. To take revenge. And since she's dead, the bonfire is broken. What do you say now? Surprise! I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You'll never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Only one more now. 
if you have the heart for it. <laughs> What is this? Snoring? What could it possibly be? It couldn't possibly be some horrid monstrosity that's down there. No! It couldn't possibly be an abomination. Let's go kill Gargoyles. Here's the fog door to the Belfry Gargoyles. And this is where Solaire's summons I would be if I wasn't hollowed. One time, though, I had somebody invade me right there while I was waiting for Solaire to summon to go through this door. And then he killed me. And then I was just fed up with the entire thing. The Belfry Gargoyles have a few good drops, but none of them are really necessary to me. We're just going to go through. You can farm those drops using the Homeward Bone or Homeward Miracle. Just kill one, then Homeward out of there, do it again. Any more endurance. I will need to cut off that one's tail. that helmet, their shield, and the halberd. There we go. The axe. Really, the big thing for this fight is just to kill one. So you don't have to deal with both of them. It's a me. Excellent! Twin Humanities. That should put us at 16. Up here is the second bell of awakening. If you hadn't gotten both of the Firekeeper souls, once you ring both of them, Lotrek kills your Firekeeper. One humanity short. And with both bells ringing, we've annoyed a giant. That one right there. And this giant will open the door to Sen's fortress, which is a terrible place. Before we go there, we have two areas we should explore first. I want to do the dark root areas. 
I want to do the depths because there's some important things down there for me. The depths are a good place to farm humanities because from the single bonfire there there's about 11 rats that you can easily kill. And they all have a chance of dropping humanities. Because you know, rats are so well known for their humanity. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the Pope. No dearest to thy friend. Yet magnanimous. I have so much faith, man. Cometh out to confess. Or to accuse. This guy will allow you to remove the hidden sin metric from your character, which you accumulate for attacking NPCs, which will unhostile them. Can be important. This guy also has some good stuff. This thing allows you to point at an invader and say, hey, someone else kill this guy for being a jerk. Might as well buy it. We can use it infinitely. Uh, don't have enough for karmic justice yet. That makes it so that when you get hit enough times, you explode. And deal a lot of damage around you. This talisman scales with your intelligence. So if you're a high intelligence character, that's the one for you. And there's these rings. The poison bite ring would have been useful for Blight Town. At least I think it would have been. Might have reduced the speed at which you get poisoned by the swamp. We already have some of these one of those. Yeah, so... We'll be back for that later. <laughs> Stop it, I want to How honorable of you. <laughs> you don't want to attack this guy. Because he's the only guy that can remove sin from you. And if you attack him, he's not removing sin. So cocky. <laughs> Could just use homeward. Use homeward. The Grass Crest Shield is a very good shield. We're gonna go get that. So that's what we're gonna go mess around with. The Titan Demon. He's a nasty one. Ow. What's up? Are you this? Almost killed me, he's up there. I don't want to for this. I'm just going back down there. Without full health. I pressed the dodge button there, but I did not dodge. Not 
really seen them stagger before, so... Stop jumping! Demon Titanite. That'll be useful for the weapon I'm aiming to get. We'll heal again. He won't respawn. Draws you a straight shot into Darkroot Garden. The first time I came down here was terrifying. It's just out in the distance, in the darkness, just sudden movement. Sudden creepy movement. I hated it. These guys are a good purveyor of moss. P provi provider of moss. Ah. Oh, there's another one. And this way is Dark Root Basin. Down here is the Grass Crest Shield. Is it that light that's important? I think it's that light that's important. It is. It's another crystal bug thing. Let's kill it. Missed. Better run up to it quick. Or can escape from me. Hit it. Oh, got away. Oh well, whatever. Down here is the long bow. And the rest of the rangers' starting gear. There we go. I don't think we can use that. Yeah, we need more dexterity. I mean, it's not like we're going to. We are going to need more dexterity, eventually. Eventually, we'll need 24 of it. Along with 24 strength. Let's see. It, why did you roll then? This game. This game fights you. Down there is the Grass Crest Shield, but there's also a Black Knight with a Halberd. He's a jerk. You don't want to fight him down here. Ah, he's coming. He's coming for my giblets. I don't want him to have my giblets. Down like that. That could have gone worse. Well, it went pretty bad. The Grass Crest Shield is very good. It significantly increases your rate of stamina regen. Significantly. It's a very good shield. And down here is a bonfire. And further along is the Valley of Drakes. That 
that Black Knight also won't respawn. Which is good. Because we don't want him going after our giblets. Down that way is a mini boss, the Hydra. We'll need to kill it if you want to get into Darkroot Garden, into the Forest Hunter area of Darkroot Garden without purchasing the Crest of Artorias. We're killing Andre for the Crest of Artorias. See, look at him. He's a giant prick. Also, there's Crystal Golems. He's coming for my giblets. I don't want him coming for my giblets. Luckily, they're not very fast. But they have very good defenses. Ah, trees! That you have to watch out for. And they also have very large aggro ranges. Yeah, like him. He's already annoyed. Of course, of course, they're also subject to friendly fire from the Hydra, because the Hydra is capable of spitting water at you. We're not going to go over there yet. I don't want to fight that thing. He's coming, slowly but surely. He's coming slightly faster now. Yeah, that works much better. Now we stab him. Up here leads to that room with Havel. Remember the one from before the Taurus Demon? We normally wouldn't be able to unlock this. We have the master key. And there's Havel. Hello? <laughs> Don't want to mess around with Havel. The dragon's tooth weapon will mess you up. If you can, pull Black Knight on him. How did that hit me? That's right, Hackle. Eventually you can get Havel's item set from an area in An Orlando. Havel's ring increases your equip load by 50%. So, there we go. Now we can Crick Roll again. And now this is just a shortcut back to Undead Berg. Well, shortcut. Long cut. Something I think we'll do is fight the Moonlight Butterfly. Because the Moonlight Butterfly is cripplingly weak to lightning, which I have a copious amount of. <laughs> <laughs> 